Last week we told you about a Wallingford food pantry that was running out of food. The shelves there in the warehouse just about bare. But since then, News 8 viewers have really come forward and helped. They've gotten hundreds of donations there, but their need and the need of others is still a long way from over. And they're not the only ones hurting either. We've got their back tonight. Here's News 8's Noel Gardner. More seniors are signing up at the food bank and local pantries in Milford. With more sign-ups, centers are having a tough time keeping up with the demand. I think they have to choose between buying medicine and buying food, or paying their bills and buying food. There's more shelf space at the Milford Food Bank than food. More seniors are coming through the door, and that's putting more pressure on the center. If we don't stock the shelves, there isn't going to be any food for, for the seniors or anybody else. It's a similar picture at the Bethel Center. The pantry is nearly bare. This is what they have to work with. The volunteers get creative with meals. We have a very talented soup kitchen manager who plans very healthy meals and very good menus, and she uses what we have. Beth L. is more than just a pantry. It's also a soup kitchen and a shelter. The center not only helps the homeless, but caters to those facing financial trouble. Everyone in our shelter is homeless, but everyone in our soup kitchen is not. There are people that live in our community that are not homeless but have to come to the soup kitchen every day because they just don't have the resources to make the ends meet. With donations down, they face the fear of cutting back on meals. We have more needs to fill and we're at a point where we're not going to be able to do them with the, way, with the stock that we have currently. Everybody is one paycheck from being here. so and. It could happen to anybody. Last year, Bethel served 26,000 meals, and the need keeps growing. Reporting in Milford, Noel Gardner, News 8. If you want to help, we've got this story and more with links to more information. It's right on the front page of WTNH.com. Just look in the information mentioned on air section.